Anthony Hogan here, VIP Boxing, down at Fox ABC, where I'm about to chat to uh, the enemy. <laughs> Levi, how are you doing, mate? No, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, Levi, you've got a big fight coming up. Um, you, you, you're fighting a, a half, half fighter, Ben Marksby, up in Newcastle mm -hmm. at the, the Walker. Let me just check it. Walker Activity Zone. Yeah. Um, on the 22nd, which is a Friday. Uh, a big show, Channel 5 show. Yeah, yeah, it's a brilliant show and it's a great platform to be on. Um, I was previously meant to be boxing Khalil Majid on the 25th of October on the Wasserman show. Um, when that show completely fell through, yes. um, they asked me... That was going to be at Bolton, that wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was going to be at Bolton. When, when that fell through, they asked me, will you box Ben? And I'm like, yeah, of course I'll box Ben. <laughs> it's a great fight, it's a great fight. Mm. Uh, I mean, Ben's 10-0 now, fantastic amateur. Uh, had a few years out and then joined us and uh, done everything right as a pro now. Mm -hmm. But this is your opportunity to, 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 to get back to where you always believe you should be. Yeah. Um, now you've had a, a few little slip ups. Mm -hmm. um, so so you've, you've now got back on the, on the winning trail, you've had two good wins. But this is, this is a, a big step up as well. It's not really a big step up for me. I've been there, done there, been in with people that that have pushed me to there and tested me. So he's a very, very good fighter, don't get me wrong. I know his amateur career, he'll probably know my amateur career. Um, and he is a good fighter and it's a great 50-50 fight, but I feel like I get the, the nod on this one. I've been working very, very hard. I've been in camp since May, been in America, sparring very, very good fighters in America, been in Wales, sparring over there. I've been everywhere, I've been in camp for so long, um, sacrificed, spending time with my newborn daughter. Um, I know he's a family man himself and he's yeah, been training, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. so he's been training away from his family, so it's going to be a great, great fight, we've got a lot of build up for it, um, we're both fighting for our families at the end of the day, so it's going to be a great fight. Because and, and you're, you're, you're going to his backyard, because mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a, an North East kid, um, I think he's from Hartlepool, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Birmingham is not too, uh, sorry, Newcastle not too far away from him. But, Wherever you fight, it's never that home for you. No, because no. you're a Londoner that moved up to Sheffield, uh -huh. and now you, you've moved from Sheffield to Manchester. So really, wherever you fight is... It's, it's not really, really home, but Sheffield is my home. And when I do fight in Sheffield, I do big tickets in Sheffield. I was going to fight in London against Yusuf Kamari for the English title at Lightweight. And I was doing very, very good numbers ticket-wise for that. Um, but fighting away, I love an away day, I love an away upset, I love upsetting people and plus there's no pressure on me, I've got no nothing to prove to anybody, I'm going in there, I've got three losses on my record, I'm going in there to win, I'm going in there to fight, I've got things to fight for, I've got family to fight for, so for me there's no pressure on my shoulders, I'm walking there smiling, laughing, dancing around how I normally do. Well the and pressure is on Ben, Ben yeah, ben's yeah. the home fighter. Yeah, yeah of course, you know, he's, 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 10 and he's 10 and 0, he's the home fighter, the pressure is on him. Probably if he thought if this fight would have been away from him, it would have been on a, on a level playing field, but there is that little bit more pressure for him to perform. Um, but I know that he is, he is going to come come and give it his all, and I'm definitely going to give it my all. Yeah, but like you say, it's his first real big test. Ten rounder. And what I love about this, though, is both of you, you don't need to take this fight. Yeah, of course. You know, like you said, you were looking for uh, the month afterwards, you were going to go down to London. Uh, at the weight below them, you're going to fight at lightweight. I've been, I've, I've been a lightweight um, most of my career since I've been professional, um, but I've been boxing at super lightweight just to box there. But now, um, I've outgrown lightweight and I'm a full fledged, I'm a full fledged super lightweight. Um, my record might not say it, but you look at who I have stopped, and then it will give you an inkling. I can punch, and at this way, I can definitely, definitely punch. Yeah, well, I, I, I think, listen, you're all boxers, you can all hurt one another, uh, but uh, sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't give itself, you know, because oh, when you're fighting those, those, those journeymen, they don't give you too many opportunities yeah, course, to course. fight those things. But I've watched you on the bag, I've seen you here numerous times. We did an interview, well, I can't remember, about eight, nine months ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was just before you made your, your comeback on the uh, Frank Duffy show, wasn't yeah. it? Um, and, and I was surprised that you only had the one stoppage on your record because yeah. you were hard. Yes, yeah, boxing these experienced journeymen and they're a credit to the sport because without them, the kids don't learn their crafts like obviously me and Ben have. Um, so we need them. And even Ben, he's not got many stoppage, well, he's not got any stoppage he's on his record, no but 100% he can still probably punch him wearing them eight ounce gloves I, I think and when make ben him came wait. To us, yeah, when Ben came to us, 
uh, we was really happy and really excited because he won a shed load as oh, an yeah, amateur. Course, I think he won about six, seven <coughs> national titles. Mm -hmm. um, the problem was uh, lockdown came, and lockdown came, and so he never really did it as as a, as, a, as an elite, as yeah. a senior. I presume you fought as. As a, an elite without the so I only started boxing at 17 years old and I was chucked into championships. I, I won the under 10s, under 20s, um, got to the CYP semi-finals, boxing, the, boxing the elites. Um, I boxed everybody. I boxed absolutely everybody in a short space of time and learnt my craft and then I decided to be a pro. I was at Steel City Gym, so you know the type of sparring I was getting there year in, year out, right next to the GB, sparring the GB a lot. So I've been in there with some of the best kids around and I know that me at my best beats absolutely anyone. Right, well that's I'm looking forward to this. Obviously I'm Team VIP, you know. Of course, like, of course, naturally. We, I always bump into you and we yeah. always chat, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, like I say, when we won your losses, I was there when it was on the prize fights. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Yeah. Uh, I was just talking to Kane, his stable mate. He had the same thing. He mm -hmm. lost in that same tournament, didn't he? Yeah, of course. Um, and it, that, that doesn't matter. But there was one that I always bugged me. I, I never knew it was your first loss against Nathan Bennett. Nathan, Bentley, Nathan Bennett. Beanie, Beanie, it, was it? Yeah, yeah, but... A Scottish kid, was it? Uh, I'm not sure where he was from. I think How Birmingham, but... Because that was a big he was, he was a super welterweight boxing, boxing man when I boxed at lightweight. Um, I learned a lot about myself then, um, improved a lot since then, and I've kept improving. All these little losses that I've took have helped me improve. I lost a three-rounder fight that the whole world thought I won against the Appleyard, and that didn't bother me. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's I lost, not a real tournament, you know, because everyone changes the yeah, style yeah, of to, 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 you know, you put to suit, to suit that eight round, round yeah. fighter who's dropping down to fighting three rounds, mm -hmm. you, you all got to take risks in there, and, yeah. and like I say, it was very close, no, it was course. a great tournament, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, Every very, fight very in, the whole, in the whole series on that night was brilliant, yeah. uh, there wasn't a bad one, no, that I, was I remember unreal. Um, Nathan Bennett uh, and Kane Gardner, Gardner. that was a top, the top fight, and, yeah. and every fight had to live up to that one, because mm -hmm. Uh, that was a brilliant way to start that tournament, wasn't it? No, 100 percent. And then um, I lost to uh, uh, Alan Florian, who, at lightweight, is a problem for absolutely anyone. Forget boxing him. Forget boxing him at a pumped up 145 pounds like Kilil Magid did, and couldn't even get him out of there. Um, Box him at lightweight, he's a problem for anyone. And I lost by point to him when he was ranked top 15 in Europe, and really. Well, with the right trainer, should have beat him. Yeah, yeah, he fought Pierce O'Leary. Yeah, he fought him. Yeah, yeah, he fought him. Yeah, he Even when he boxed Pierce, yeah. he was at 140 odd pounds. He wasn't at his natural so, weight. So, as a professional, even though he had a fantastic amateur career, Ben, mm -hmm. uh, you feel you've learned your craft as a pro, and you've been a pro a little bit longer than him. Yeah, of course. You've had those few more fights than him, and like mm -hmm. I said, you've had those lessons. Because that's yeah. the way you're treating him, aren't you? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm treating him. And don't get me wrong, I'm very, very serious about this fight. And I think he is a good fighter. And he should be very, very serious about me. And show that mutual respect and get in there. And both of us give absolutely everything and have a have a great fight. Because for me, what I want most of, most of all, everyone to be entertained. Let's put on a show. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I must admit, I do like watching Ben. He's, he's a nice boxer. And, yeah. and I presume I was just watching uh, one of your stable mates here. I think must have been perfect preparation for your fight in Bobby Faulkner. Bobby Faulkner, no disrespect to Ben Marksby, but Bobby Faulkner is a level above a lot of fighters. Bobby, Bobby Faulkner is a real, real fighter, and it's a shame that he's not on a platform because he's one of the best I'm fighters. I'm sure that, he still will be. Yeah, he's one of the best fighters that I've seen. And yeah, he's been my main sparring partner for this camp, and it is going to show because he pr does if you, want to, if you want someone to replicate what Ben does who's a brilliant mover and ridiculously fast hands um, Bobby's the man Bobby's the man yeah of course, of course so, so preparations for you preparation's been fantastic even before that um, before Bobby's and preparation was fantastic and now it's just getting me to that to that point and then I've got Bobby Kane Jason they were pushing me them rounds and it's been really really good I've had the best in-house sparring anyone can ask for well, I've got to mention this because I, I presume you're not superstitious, but those three losses that you've had over the years have all come in November. <laughs> and this is November. Yep, so this is when you put that jinx to bed. And I've, I've known that and I've looked at that and this is, this is my time. And I've said that um, I deserve it. And 
on the 22nd of November, I'll get what I deserve. I'm, I'm, a, number 12. I'm, a, I'm a type of fighter. I will fight absolutely anyone, anywhere, in their back garden, in my back this garden. Is so that, that is what boxing needs. And these type of fights are what boxing needs. Kids need to suck it up, take these fights, and then whoever, whoever wins moves on. Whoever loses rebuilds and goes again. Yeah, well, listen, I'm really looking forward to it. Like I said, it's what boxing needs. Uh, it needs good quality kids fighting one another for nothing yeah. except for bragging rights and That's to get it. another W behind your name. So, uh, listen, uh, all the best for uh, uh, for the 22nd of yeah, November 22nd. up in uh, Newcastle. And uh, one of you, we're not going to be up there because we've got a show the night afterwards. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 Keynes, you I'll, I'll be down Kane, for that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll probably see you down there. Of and course. if I see you, we have a win number 12 behind your name. Of course, 100%. Levi, you take care, mate. You too, Bye-bye. thank you. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.